Hello and welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching season two, episode one of The Expanse. The episode is called Safe. It's a heck of a finale to season one. I've just liked it more and more, kind of the more I thought about it, because I've had a chance to edit the reaction and also watch it back. Just an absolutely fantastic episode. I'm still not sure about the form taking of the what was it called proto molecule was it called the thing anyway the electric goo whether it was taking the shape of the spy or not i keep i've literally watched that scene like six or seven times through and i'm i'm still not sure so i think i'm just going to leave it to i'll find out this i should say this video is also being recorded before you've seen the finale episode so um, no doubt there's going to be a whole bunch of comments on that, but I, I still don't know because I've continued watching. What I can say is I now do understand what happened to the radiation because episode 9 went up today, so this is Wednesday. I'm so glad I said in the video, I'm sure this is completely obvious, because I, I had this feeling like I don't think this is a big deal. I'm just not, something is not clicking about this radiation. And of course, they were irradiating them to provide an energy source and expedite the process of the proto molecule or whatever it's called, you know, expanding and developing and, and growing. It's completely obvious, but in fairness, that was a busy two episodes. I really like the developing relationship between Naomi and Jim. That's very cool. I ship it. He's just about becoming worthy of Naomi now. He's certainly the only man around who is, bar Amos, but I'm not sure Amos is quite interested. We now have a conspiracy with Erin Wright and Jules Pierre working together. They offed de Graff because he clearly came into the possession of information about the drives, you know, the, of the ships. And was I guess in a position to actually undermine that conspiracy so they killed him made it look like suicide tied it in with the stuff that happened with Avasarala which puts Erin Wright on my shit list for like three different reasons he's on my shit list because he's allied himself with Jules Pierre and created this whole situation in the first place then he's on my shit list because he killed de Graff to cover it up then he's on my shit list because he let Avasarala think that her actions killed her like long-term friend what a prick i hate that guy now i proper hate that guy he's an asshole jules pierre is an asshole i keep i'm still thinking about what dresden said about you know we have to learn as it learns and i noticed as well on the rewatch that they were looking at like a dna strand and I'm unclear as to what that means. Like, I had a random, like, thought, because they're on about this will save us. I thought, super generous interpretation. Somehow they're trying to save humanity from something. It's possible. But I still think there are a couple of bastards at the moment, even if that were to be proven true. They seem to be have it, wanting this thing to grow as quickly as possible. And what do they need it to learn? Is it about this that we have now, that it's taken a form? I'm telling you, they are buggered if this thing becomes an entity, which it looks like it's about five minutes away from becoming. Like, how, how, how do they even think that they're going to be, be able to remain in control of this thing? What is even going on in their minds? This is a really bad idea. Like a really, really bad idea, which makes me wonder, like, what are their actual motives? And I don't yet fully understand what their motives are, because that's not clear. Because before we had the just the flat, obvious thing of, oh, yeah, someone shooting ships at the sky and trying to pin it on, you know, Earth or Mars or whoever to to kind of have a battle. But this is way more complicated now than just a simple geopolitical spat and I don't yet understand what that is I really don't I, I kind of other than the is there something that can only be prevented by this life form that we need that life form to exist for that I can understand 
outside of that I'm struggling other than standard old curiosity but I don't think they use many throwaway lines in this and Dresden said it could save us so I want to know what from and how because this is a high stakes game they're playing so they must have a really compelling reason to them for doing it and I want to know what it is Eros is completely fucked we also um, had our guys flying away but they had Dresden ship in their sights so I'm, I'm looking forward to kind of them following the thread that has been kind of left behind and just obviously it's all going to kick off because we've got the stuff about the ships which is being exposed and obviously Aaron Wright's going to attempt to pin that on Fred Johnson and th through virtue of it pinning it on Fred Johnson it would be pinned on the OPA. I'm not sure I'd buy that shit if I was Mars. I mean if he couldn't if he couldn't convince a Vassarella how's he going to convince Mars? I don't think so. I think this is all going to go horribly wrong for them but it's also going to fuck us all up too. But yeah I am super super excited about this season. So, without further ado, let's have at it. Shit! What the fuck? Train? They look like Robocop! Oh! Shit! Oh my god! Oh shit! Oh, Draper, I like you already. Whoa! Tango's down. We are in this crater. <laughs> Your best score time by almost three minutes. Good work, Gunny. Oh, shit. That was amazing. You're shipping out. Rumor is you're heading to Phoebe Station. So say your goodbyes. Oh, no. It's going to be a long trip. Ugh. Oh. Is there someone else I'm going to like for them to die five minutes in the fucking episode? Wow. Must be so weird. Can't imagine living in that environment at all. Someday. Oh man. God, what a vision. So good to see Mars. I love this show. You made it. <coughs> no! Please be a nightmare. Please be a nightmare. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. Let's get the shit out of me. Maybe we should let the guys on Pyco handle this. Then whatever's in there will belong to Fred Johnson. Roger that, boss. Oh, no. Whatever the Anubis crew put in there, that safe is designed to protect the hell out of it. I don't think we should open it. I'm peeing right now. Perks of a vac suit. <laughs> Go. I got this. Losing power. Which also means whatever it was freezing is going to become unfrozen. Guys, why are we doing this when we've just seen what happened on Eros? What happen if one of us infected? We'll cross that bridge if we get to it. You mean you're gonna space us? Give me that arm. I think maybe you wanna space us. Whether we test positive or not. Give him your arm and shut your mouth. Hey! Well, I'll space right. to myself. Nobody is spacing anyone. Kinda can't blame him. It's annoying as fuck, but look what he's been through. Whatever happened, maybe it's over now, maybe. Some still left alive. No, mate. You ain't never going back. A lot more could have been saved. Yeah, they could have. Pause. It just makes you think about so many situations in our world where it's like these people's lives don't matter. They're just treated like collateral damage. And how awful it must be to find yourself in that group of people at any moment that are just viewed as less than really tragic i'm glad i just love this show for highlighting stuff like that play yeah, julie mao went through the same shit. 
bet you didn't bitch about it, right? <laughs> Don't talk, talk to me while I'm dying, kid. And why won't we help Belos? Because they're only Belters, somehow less than human. Because Eros is some backwater that doesn't deserve basic humanitarian aid. See, they picked Eros to test their weapon on because they knew. Nobody gives a shit about 100,000 belters. Yeah. Don't we answer for it. Truth and justice. You still believe that? After everything you saw? Yeah. Woo! Put me. Thunder. I never did say it, but thanks for getting me off arrow so I wouldn't have made it without you. Thanks for the lift. Brilliant. Paul's just got to say before we move on to the next thing, radiation also freaks me out too. I was looking at a bunch of your comments um, today on the episode 9 video. And yeah, just, it's always scared the shit out of me. That like, you could be hit by it without even knowing. And then it just tears your body apart. I'm really fascinated with like the Chernobyl incident and like looking at that and you had the this group of guys who were like the cleaners who who just did shifts to save a lot of lives. And like they were paid fuck all. Or like two thirds of them are already dead from cancer and the rest have had horrific impacts to their physical and mental health and it's carried on through their families as well and it's just really really terrifying i should also say we're having a massive storm here today oh my god i really don't want them to open this thing as well why are we opening pandora's box we've just seen a station ripped apart. We know it's linked to what's in this box. Why are we opening the box? The, the answer is people can't fucking help themselves. We just can't play. Guys, I really don't think we should open this. It's the star. It's the pretty molecule. Well, now we're fucked. The engines in those ships were built by the OPA operatives working for Fred Johnson. Fred Johnson was a military hero who became infected with the cause of... My father taught me something. Never listen to what people say. Just watch what they do. I... That must kill her to have to do that. Hello? Hold on, I can't hear you. This is Aaron Wright. Archangel is secured. We have Archangel. Archangel is not on the vehicle. Fucking prick. I'm not happy. But the molecule seems to behave uniquely. This is Phoebe. These must be the Martians that Lopez told you about. They were infected on purpose. These are lab notes. The only way to see what it's evolving into <gasps> is by feeding it a larger biomass. He's talking about Eros. Phoebe was an extrasolar object, trapped by Saturn's gravity eons ago. What if it were merely a delivery system? A way to send a protomolecule to our solar system? It begs the question, sent by whom? And why? Oh my god! He said extrasolar object. First proof of extraterrestrial life. Oh no! Are they colonizing us? Are you still got a beat on that signal that you guys intercepted leaving Eros? Huh? Yeah, of course we do. What the hell are we waiting for? We're not going in blind. Tycho first. Cab's right. Nobody asks you no neck. <laughs> no neck. The proto molecule. What are we gonna do with it? Simple. We stick it on the end of a torpedo and we fire it into the sun. Hang on. What if there was a way to use that sample to create a vaccine? None of us know what we're dealing with here. And until we do, that is too important to destroy right now. Hell no. Then we'll hide it. Where? Out here. What if someone finds it? I could take a look around, see if there's a good spot. What if someone finds it, though? Do it. 
She's doing it again. be a real fight. 30 billion lumps of shit. Watching vid screens, stuffing their faces full of free drugs all day. Hell, we should invade right now. You know the second most dangerous thing in the solar system next to a Martian Marine is a UN Marine? Oh, the Earth of chimes in. Yeah, I'm more Martian than you, Hilly. My parents had to sacrifice to have a kid on Earth. Immigrate here when I was five. Mm -hmm. We chose Mars. Mars chose us. Hey, hey, here's a point, Hillman. The only thing that makes you a Martian is falling out of your mother's gravity well. We'll keep him anyway. Hey! Watch it. All right, kids, keep it business. Well, put gunny. Ooh. Lieutenant? Briefing in five. I think the lieutenant has a hoots for you, Bobby. Shut your hole or I'll assist you with that. Come on, take one for the team. That way we'll always have the inside scoop. I, I don't use sex as a weapon, little ones. I use weapons as weapons. <laughs> okay. She's awesome. You'll be landing on Phoebe Station. Securing the facility until we get a science team in for a deeper investigation. I know that you and your team did rotation on the dining. I knew people on that ship, too. Captain Yao was a friend, but still, nobody knows what really mm. happened. We know those styles were Earth-built. So says Fred Johnson. Mm. We will not be led into war on anyone's leash. I like Sutton already. And we've managed to avoid a shooting war with Earth up till now. That's our job. To make sure that that war never happens. And because of Vesta, we pushed back the terraforming project. 50 years and 50 more. All those resources to the military now. None of us will live to see an atmosphere over Mars. That was the price. Wow. So she like his protege. There's been a development. The Martians dispatched a ship to Phoebe Station, I know. What are you doing about it? Well, that depends. I'm assuming there's nothing left to find there. You're witnessing a discovery that could rewrite the story of humankind. But your imagination takes you as far as putting the boot heel to your former colony. This was Julie's spot. Fuck you. Far from the house. What a prick. She taught herself to shoot a bow and arrow at this tree. Even losing her was worth it. She's a sacred part of it now. So don't talk to me about sacrifice. Ever again. God, he just took you to school, Aaron, right? Sight. Ow! How long are you going to wear this? Rest of your days. But you uh, won't be able to procreate, I'm sorry. Oh, shit! It's all right, I put swimmers on ice in the Navy. <laughs> I never want to see another one of me running around anyway, so... Now that we're all done being irradiated, I'm gonna go check out this famous coffee machine you keep talking about. <laughs> way... Sis! If you and I... I have something we need to get sorted out. Oh. When your pop pulled a gun, might as well have shot himself right here. here here's what I see, okay? You seem kind of like a trigger happy whack job to me. Uh, uh. Wanted to talk? You shot my friend. Oh. If you need to square up, you know where I am. <laughs> yeah, Miller, you're not gonna win this war, mate. Stay down, Miller. <laughs> Miller, don't. Miller, don't make him knock you on your ass again. Amos, no! Amos! Amos, stop! Amos, stop it. I told him to stay down. He did! Okay. Miller, what are you doing? Christian. Thank God. Are you all right? Perfect excuse not to quit drinking, huh? This is our fault. We put you in the crosshairs. We never should have made you the public face against Fred Johnson. Intel says it was the Black Sky faction of the OPA. An occupational hazard in my family. Maybe you should take a few days. At least skip the meeting. No, I'll be in in five minutes. If we place our ships in the paths of theirs, they'll know we're ready for any planned acts of aggression. We share all those oh. bases. They have no rights. Mars does not want war. They want to get back to terraforming and building domes for their people. And what vast font of battlefield wisdom are you drawing from, Admiral? Wow. I advise that we deploy our fleet to secure any base 
that might become a Martian foothold. Do you concur? I do. Oh, I bet she did a little sick in her mouth then. She has to have his complete trust. Fuck. You're, uh, kind of like his guide star, right? That Julia is to you. How long you in her? Never met her. I only saw her that one time after they'd already killed her. You know, Holden was shocked by arrows, so I was shocked it hadn't happened a long time ago. But truly, I wake up some nights and I see her standing right there. She takes my hand, she tells me, You belong with me. I'm pretty sure it'll belong here. So you're leaving us already? You're gonna just walk out into space? Uh -huh. Then we need to stick together. Yum thing. The UNN Nathan Hale is on a direct course to Phoebe Station. At this rate, they're gonna beat us there. Why would Earth suddenly care about Phoebe Station? It must be something there they don't want us to find. But command was unequivocal. Under no circumstances are we to allow Phoebe to fall under UN control. Shit. Prepare your team for drop. Who's gonna feast on Earth's sky and drink their rivers dry? NSC. Who's gonna stop their mountains into fine Martian dust? NSC. To the rain of our way! Fucking hell. your nerves while asking weird, inappropriate questions. Huh. <laughs> Do you like space gladiator movies? What? What? Hey, hold it. Yeah, you might just went dead. Hold Can you hear me through the mop? Yeah. You did not choose this but this is our fight we're the only ones who know what's going on down there the only ones with a chance to stop it tell me that you're okay you've put your lives in my hands i'm okay oh god i got chills over me oh man <laughs> Holy mackerel! Whew. Oh shit! What the hell? Sky face is on. We still have our waters. Fuck. Oh. Now we're at war. As we speak, the Martians could be preparing a strike all over the system. Have any of their other ships changed course or launched or done anything provocative? Better by the time you see it on that display, it will be. Shut up. The missiles are a message to back off, nothing more. Captain of the Hail will likely fire back on the Scirocco, as he's authorized to do. The MCRN will retaliate. Phoebe may be the spark, but it will not end there. The Captain of the Hail knows what's at stake. He's a man of risk. You know Captain Yevgeny? Since he was a little know-it-all at the Academy debating me in philosophy, 
I promise you, sir, he is the same wise man he was back then. The wise thing to do right now is to target the NCRN fleet system-wide. Mars isn't stupid enough to start a war that will end civilization over a rat hole like Phoebe. We'll hold until we hear from the hail. <sighs> I didn't know we shared Captain Evgeny as a friend. An exceptional man. Yes. He never went to the academy. <laughs> oh, she's good. Oh, she's fucking good. What? Command. The Nathan Hale has not fired on the Scirocco. Their missiles were not intended for us. Command. Be advised, we are standing down. The Martians were targeting Phoebe Research Station, which sustained multiple direct hits. It's completely gone. Oh my god. Mao Krakowski. That's their company then. So he owned the Phoebe, okay. Bye, mate. Yeah. What's the emergency? Okay. It's kind of an emergency. So, listen, I'm thinking to myself, I'm thinking how often do we all just hang out together and just talk, you know, without work. No, no, without work. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Come on. He's right. Viva. <laughs> That's lasagna. It's voila. Mmm. Looks amazing. Damn, Alex, you're getting us really excited about this lasagna. Don't go judging it before you taste it, Arthur. It's not bad, Marshall. You know, I remember a time in the series when there was real cheese. Mm, they busted that black market cur cartel on ninth level. Real cheddar from real cows. I busted that cartel. Yeah, it was me and Star Helix. We confiscated about a thousand kilos of high-grade cheddar. It was bound for some luxury spa on Titan. The whole ship had disappeared from the evidence lockup that night. Oh, it just vanished. <laughs> so the governor of Ceres gathers all the Star Helix cops together for an ass terry. So he's there, he's tearing us a new one. Meanwhile, the whole room stinks like cheese farts. They got all that going. <laughs> they wanted something on Phoebe and we vaporized it. I'd say the fight's coming soon enough. I hope you're wrong. Earth knows the price of escalation as well as we do. You said our job is to prevent a war with Earth. Ever wonder if we've got it backwards? Maybe we can't have the dream of Mars until we've had that war. Fucking hell. Oh my god, I freaking love that. I absolutely loved it. Uh, really amazing to see Mars. And just to kind of get a better handle on their experience and their perspective on the geopolitics that we're dealing with, because although we we saw Martians last episode, we didn't learn a whole lot. And I think for me, the key bit of information was that from their perspective, you know, Earth is holding them back and reluctant to kind of cede power to its what it would see as its junior partner. They had to set their terraforming project back 50 years. Two generations. That's a long time. And I, I really got, um, what's her name? Gunny? 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 I'm going to go with Gunny for now and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. 
and just the frustrating tone of voice that you know they guaranteed that we would never get to see a terraformed Mars. And when your whole life is terraforming Mars, that's a really big deal. I love the effect of being able to look at Mariner Valley in a hundred years time and seeing this incredible landscape and the results of all of their hard work. So I get it, Mars is super mission focused. They are completely unified between one goal it will be interesting to see how that society would change once that goal is achieved. But yeah, we got the one got one girl whose family owns like all the terraforming companies. I think that was the blonde one. And we've got Gunny. I think her surname is Draper from her helmet. She is hard. She's like Ronda Rousey. She's like a little baby Ronda Rousey. I didn't pick up the name Travis was someone else's name. Um, and Sutton is their kind of captain, commander, commanding officer. And they were sent on this mission to Phoebe, which ends up turning into a just, we're going to have to just blow Phoebe up. Because their job was, Phoebe cannot be taken by Earth. And meanwhile, you've got all the shenanigans back on Earth with the Vassarala having to pretend she's as oblivious as she can while also acting consistently with what he would expect of her. It's a very difficult acting job that she's been asked to perform there, and I thought she did a really good job this episode, especially considering that bullshit assassination attempt, which I think was nothing more than to attempt to not have her at any of these meetings in the first place, or just to further galvanise her against the OPA, but it was a dick move. Erin Wright and... Jill Pierre Mario can take a long jump off a you know short pier as far as I'm concerned. I find it outrageous that he considers Julie's death his sacrifice. It's not his sacrifice because he's clearly a psychopath who loves nothing. It was Julie's sacrifice. Twat. Very interesting happen happenings on the race in Ante. So we did save a couple of the Belters from Eros. I was really, really happy to see that. But there is a serious trust deficit now with with those people. And I get it. Like, how traumatised would you be if you'd survived what they've just survived? Obviously, still have that safe thing that they took off the Anubis. And inside it looks to be samples of the protein molecule and also... Um, information about what happened on Phoebe with Dresden explaining. That was really interesting. I immediately want to go and watch it. I'm really looking forward to the edit actually because I didn't fully catch everything that Dresden was saying in that video and I think it's really important. But the, the nub of it was it looks like these protein molecules were sent here. Well, he suggested that there is actually another, like, there's another species out there that's outside of our solar system who's sent this in, which immediately, to me, was like, they're fucking pioneers. Like, this is, are they, are they is this like, are they trying to colonise us? Which would be, would make absolute sense. Wouldn't it? Because you send this little thing in, this, you know, just a speck, and then it comes into contact with energy and proliferates, and then it learns what's going on and it takes a form. So, what I'm intrigued to know is, is that the life form itself? Sort of reacting like, this is a protocol, it's been sent in by another life form, but I'm saying, what if the life form that sent it is it? This is how it proliferates and populates other solar systems. Because they could have done this over and over, wiping out galaxies and across space all over the place. And we wouldn't know because we, we don't know that anyone else exists yet. So we're just in blissful ignorance. 
Oh, fuck sticks. So I really need to see more of the protein molecule. I want to see, I'd actually like to go back to Eros to see what it looks like now, given a little more time to develop. What the fuck is going on there? Because that form had already taken shape. I don't think it's going to stay in Eros. And I'm guessing the first... Oh my god, because the, the first... If, if, if a ship goes to Eros eventually to find out what's going on, there could be like a whole group of soldiers of this electric goo ready to go. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This is brilliant. All right, I think I'm going to draw it to a close there. Thank you for watching, and until the next time, bye-bye.